Hello everyone, good evening, and a very warm welcome to the special masterclass of Practical Cities. Today, we are here to celebrate World Cities Day 2020. Before we begin our masterclass, I would like you to tell about the initiative Practical Cities. This initiative is by young urban professionals, enthusiasts from varied fields to motivate and encourage all the urban enthusiasts who want to learn about practical and on-ground solutions which makes our cities more livable and sustainable. Today, as we are celebrating World Cities Day 2020, let's know something about it. The United Nations General Assembly had designated 31st October as World Cities Day. The day is expected to greatly promote the international community's interest in global urbanization, push forward cooperation among countries in meeting opportunities and addressing challenges of urbanization and contributing to sustainable urban development around the world. Today, Practical Cities is honored to have Honorable Mayor of Kochi, Ms. Somini Jain, Dr. Rajan Chedambath, Director of CHED, and Professor Chetan Vaidya, former Director of NIUA and SPA Delhi, India, to embark this special day and help us know more and learn more about the grassroots urban innovations in Kochi, Kerala, India. Let me start with introducing Honorable Mayor of Kochi. Mrs. Somini Jain is the Mayor of Kochi Municipal Corporation in Kerala, a position she holds since November 2015. She has earlier served as Chair of the Works of Standing Committees in the City Government. As being Mayor of Kochi, she is also the Chairperson of CHED. Many of us might not know CHED, the Center for Heritage, Environment and Development, CHED, is an institution functioning as the research and development wing of the Kochi Municipal Corporation, KMC, in the fields of urban development, governance, environment, culture, and heritage. CHED was sanctioned by the government of Kerala in 2002, and from then, it has been an integral part of the planning efforts and development aspirations of the city of Kochi. It's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Rajan, who has been the director of CHED for the last 18 years. As the director of CHED, Dr. Rajan is actively engaged in several grassroots urban innovations in Kochi. He has practical experience of introducing and managing several urban innovations in the Kochi urban region. And Professor Chetan Vaidya, he is an architect planner with over 30 long years of experience of academic research and consultancy of urban reforms and innovations. He was director of School of Planning and Architecture, SPA Delhi, and was also director of National Institute of Urban Affairs, NIUA. Presently, he is senior national urban advisor at Kochi Smart City, supported by GIZ. I would like now to invite Dr. Rajan to share his experience and efforts in the grassroots urban innovations in Kochi through his presentation. Welcome, sir. Uh, yeah, thank you, Professor Paul, and uh, I should thank uh, our Honorable Mayor for uh, being over here and because uh, she had, like, uh, from the morning, she's been uh, busy with some official as well as family issues, and we was worried about whether she should be able to join us uh, for this evening or not but she made it like uh, she left all other uh, important work at aside and came for here and uh, I, first of all i should really thank her for uh, being here for this very important uh, discourse uh, i should uh, uh, also thank jayden sir as become the mentor of uh, sehat he's, he's been promoting sehat like uh, uh, we never experienced this kind of uh, uh, attention uh, uh, before, but like at the moment, Chaitanya sir came to Kochi, came to know about uh, CHED. He started like you know spreading the words, and uh, and he's, re he's been really helping us, and or he's helped us to document all uh, uh, 18 years of our work. And we should also really thank him for uh, doing that great work. Having said this, I would just go and uh, make the uh, presentation. So. Uh, so, uh, Chetan sir uh, calls it, uh, calls CHED as a grassroots uh, urban innovation and uh, I, and this institution is, is a special purpose vehicle instituted by uh, the Kochi Municipal Corporation way back in 2002 uh, with the support of the state government. 
and uh, we've been uh, working uh, on different uh, uh, gamut, like different aspects of urban governance in Kochi. We've been helping the Kochi Municipal Corporation. And uh, the main uh, focus of this institution is like uh, urban environment, uh, urban heritage, and sustainable development. We basically, the, the idea to form this institution was uh, uh, basically to have a technical support arm for the municipal corporation. The municipal corporation is always very busy with their, their, with their day to day routine. Uh, they have a number of things like, you know, the uh, mayor, the moment six o'clock onwards, she gets calls from different people from the society, from the high court judge, uh, judges from the high court to every, every section of this, uh, uh, the society. And, uh, and the municipal action is always revolved around this kind of day to day emergencies like uh, so and, and the municipal corporation wanted a dedicated cell uh, kind of uh, uh, as causing uh, the serious causes like heritage environment and all that's one reason this institution was like uh, uh, kind of uh, established and basically like uh, uh, we, we support uh, municipal corporation uh, whenever they need our support and where, whichever area the municipal corporation is really uh, not well versed with. So they really seek our help. They ask us kind of basically to support the municipal corporation. This uh, is a society. This is like, you know, a society registered under the Travan Kochin Scientific Literary Charitable Societies Act. And it is being governed by two committees. One is general committee and executive committee. And the mayor of the mayor of Kochi is the chairperson of this uh, governing council of this institution. And the mayor, uh, and as a chairperson, has the uh, uh, special special powers uh, in this society, and uh, she has got a special responsibility also to ensure that uh, this institution really uh, runs smoothly uh, as far as uh, finance is concerned and all other aspects is concerned. And I am the head of this institution, uh, uh, the, the, the academic and other part I head as the director of this institution. And uh, then we have a, a core team uh, of uh, uh, experts working within the institution. We also seek the help of like uh, the local experts. We have a lot of experts who normally don't really work within the system or work with the municipal corporation. And we have a lot of uh, internationally trained urban experts in Kochi, architects, civil engineers, environmentalists. They don't really normally, they don't normally get to work with the municipal corporation. We work as a link between these expertise and municipal corporation. We kind of avail these experts for the benefit of the municipal corporation or the city. And we are mostly funded by the municipal corporation. Every year in the annual budget, they kind of allocate some funding. And uh, then we also kind of re mobilize our uh, resources through the networks and alliances that we have developed over a period of uh, uh, time. So, like you know, what what is our role? Where do we have? Where do cities uh, should have such institution? Uh, basically, like you know, we work as a kind of uh, visioning uh, agency. Like you know, we. Uh, basically think for the municipal corporation we basically interact with the mayor all the councillors the policy makers and we basically help them to translate their vision into document form or in, uh, in project form or in action form and uh, we basically also kind of come up with policy recommendation for instance which is the only city with the water policy for of its own in the country and we have really worked uh, uh, behind that and we have a heritage policy we have a uh, uh, environment policy, we have a culture policy, we basically kind of uh, work to kind of uh, have all these policies for the city. And we also help the city to kind of uh, maintain the uh, maintain the public space, we basically go into the public and, and educate them of the need of like keeping our public place uh, clean. And we also manage uh, uh, the uh, cultural institutions that belong to the municipal corporation. Uh, we uh, we will, uh, it's a tall claim still, we claim it that we are a think tank working within the municipal corporation. We are a research and development wing of the municipal corporation. We also help the municipal corporation in, in capacity building. We, as, as I said, like, you know, we get all these uh, expert, not just the local expert, uh, uh, from all across the country and abroad, like, you know, we get them all work for the city for the benefit of the uh, uh, city a and we basically like you know, work also as a platform for participation we basically work as a link between the people and the in the policy makers 
and uh, and like we we that way like you know, we bring in a lot of international expertise, national government expertise, international institution, all these partnership to Cochin. And uh, uh, for instance, like we have now around 15 to 20 international institutions working in Kochi, uh, and we played a pivotal role in bringing them all uh, uh, to the city. And our core competent area, like you know, first of all, culture, heritage, art, literature, and even Binale, we played a major role. And then environment, biodiversity, climate change, uh, and, and, and sustainable, even sustainable development goal. All that areas, we basically support the municipal corporation. We really help them. Uh, and we are a holding institution supporting the municipal corporation in, in, uh, uh, in, in all these areas. And uh, having said this, I would really come to some of the works that we do. I mean, that's what young uh, urban professionals like you would be really keen or uh, interested in knowing. And uh, we, we began in 2002, we began the visioning workshop for uh, Gochi. That was the first visioning uh, workshop uh, anywhere in, in South India. In, in four days visioning workshop, we are burning, we brought in like, you know, almost all experts. We brought Dr. Asna, Asnani from, uh, 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 from Gujarat, or he was in Delhi that time, like he's, he's a waste management expert. We had uh, Professor Gedi Ravindran, is an urban planner from uh, SPA Delhi. Likewise, we had the in number of international and national acclaimed urban specialists in four days sitting in Kochi uh, and preparing a start uh, and document strategic uh, document for Kochi, a vision document for Kochi. That's how we began our work. And recently, we had a Kochi web lag for. Uh, we kind of visualizing Kochi as a metropolitan area, larger metropolitan area, and what should we really do for the city? And normally, a municipal corporation wouldn't be able to kind of uh, uh, dedicate a lot of uh, uh, its time for uh, this kind of activities, since it, uh, Kochi has a, a, a research and development wing like CHEAD. It's really work uh, uh, in all these uh, areas. And uh, recently, we did a uh, work on reimagining Fort Kochi. That is like uh, the uh, the old city area. Uh, of uh, uh, Fokochi and Matanjeri, that's the heritage area of Fokochi and Matanjeri. We basically kind of uh, introduced a lot of pedestrian uh, uh, kind of aspect, like, you know, non-motorized transport over there, like, in a lot of public spaces where people can gather and have, like, a fun sort of a thing, like, you know, making it a vibrant public space, the old city area. And... Um, we have also like you know it's it's very important that we bring in youth young people like uh, in our kind of context like, you know, people could ask you like you know why heritage when you don't really have your waste managed properly we are wastewater managed properly but we tell them like you know heritage is as important environment is as important and these are environmental issues they are heritage issues so we we kind of uh, went on to uh, creating heritage clubs bringing in like in you know, a lot of youngsters into the heritage and environment, environment aspects of the uh, city and at a point of time like we had around 360 uh, environmental masters trainers like you know uh, uh, going into every schools and training uh, students on the need of environment uh, the need of protecting our environment heritage uh, in, in our urban uh, context so that was a very successful story and it got a lot of acclaim from all almost everyone. And then, like you know, we manage a lot of public spaces. Like you know, the Zubash and the Bose Park is one of the best managed, thanks to our mayor. Like you know, it's one of the best managed public parks in the city. And we basically support the municipal corporation in managing these uh, public spaces without incurring any expense to the municipal corporation. We get a lot of uh, CSR funding in the management of this uh, 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 the park. And the vice president of India, like, you know, Vengayya uh, Naidu uh, said, said, like, you know, this is one of the best managed uh, public spaces in the in the park. It was a great uh, uh, kind of opposition for the mayor, the city, and even for sea head. Uh, and and we, we managed three such uh, important public spaces in, in the city. And another uh, a public space improvement program we carried out was like, you know, Palatraman Cultural Center. That's a big cultural uh, center in the heritage area. We kind of uh, uh, sought the help of the state tourism department and they funded the renovation of this old dilapidated structure. And like, you know, we've uh, done a very good work over here and it's become a, a, a very active uh, cultural uh, space in the uh, West Kochi area and we also kind of uh, bring in a lot of uh, uh, young professionals like urban professionals and train them uh, impart training in uh, in head like you know recently we had uh, students from sept and uh, 
they were your part of the uh, summer uh, uh, school program and it was uh, sponsored by gis like you know, we had a lot of uh, experts and uh, from uh, experts as well as government functionaries from government of kerala like you know, attending this uh, uh, summer school year in uh, uh, sehad we kind of like you know to take the, all this heritage environment uh, to the people to the grassroots like you know you'll have to do it through culture so we uh, kind of conduct a lot of cultural programs like monganias is like an, a, a, an art form in the, in the rajasthan in the western part of india we we bring this kind of like you know pan uh, india cultural festivals to kochi and we do a lot of publishing workshops and uh, we and as i said like you know we kind of uh, supported kochi binale uh, in in its initial phase and this is how like you know we make like uh, life in an urban area a very uh, interesting and then like you know we did a lot of biodiversity is very important and we always say like you know environment is as important as economy we say urban ecology is as important as uh, urban and, and, and infrastructure so we kind of uh, uh, really do a lot of advocacy in bringing all these things into the scheme of things of municipal corporation because municipal corporation normally would give a lot of importance priority to economy and urban infrastructure so we play a major role in bringing urban ecology and environment into the scheme of things and when we have receptive mayors like uh, our present mayor mayor somini jain like you know it really get uh, accommodated and like you know there is a kind of balance so this is the kind of uh, role we uh, really play uh, and this is going to be a, a long term benefit ben uh, create a lot of long term benefit for the uh, municipal corporation and then we also help the municipal corporation in kind of innovate innovating idea like innovative idea like for for instance city aesthetics like you know, we formed a society we kind of entered into an agreement with national highway the road belongs to them so we kind of uh, brought in all, all stakeholders who have business establishment on both the side of this uh, national highway and they contributed the municipal corporation or people don't spend a lot of money it is the stakeholders they contribute they beautify it's like the blame the blame game goes in the sense like you know you people always say municipal corporation do that is and actually we said like you know be the change you want to see contribute for the change you you want to see and and we are like in you know, giving ownership to the people so we really uh, kind of do this kind of innovative practices in the in the urban area and this is what uh, specifically the urban professionals like you can do you cannot stay back sit back and like you know see how our uh, uh, the cities uh, uh, grow and how our uh, cities are uh, becoming practical so you should really contribute you should come forward you should help with ideas you should uh, kind of uh, collaborate with cities instead of sitting back and saying that oh our cities are not really livable you should collaborate contribute and, and you should use your knowledge for the benefit of our city people and our uh, kindly country and, and for instance i would say Matt, there is a big uh, uh, 8 billion 8 billion dollar uh, metro kochi water metro happening actually it's in my in our office in seat's office uh, under the uh, leadership of our former mayor tony uh, tony chamani that we prepared the basic uh, concept of this uh, water metro we kind of prepared the uh, basic concept we prepared a tpr he kind of sent it for like you know funding to various agencies then kfw a german agency came and they they agreed to kind of support this and then our uh, then mayor tony chamani uh, realized that she had as uh, 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 did not have the kind of manpower or expertise to run this huge project and then we hand it over to the Kochi Metro Rail Limited and, and they are like you know handling this uh, project and then we have a new SPB for this but, uh, particular purpose and uh, very in in interestingly like you know we've been also part of this enter Kochi that's a huge people uh, uh, participatory development approach in Kochi like uh, it's been uh, spearheaded by GI set Four months ago, we had a lot of interaction with people. We went into each ward. We kind of talked to the people and and, and uh, got their feedback, like what they really want to see, what are the changes they want to see. And everyone said, like you know, you, we want our canals back in in old glory. Uh, we want to redeem our uh, canals. And, and and through participatory approach, like you know, we kind of uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, gauge the aspiration of the people. Like and 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 what happens is like you know when. When we come up with projects uh, 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 in the wish list of the people, like you know, they would also join us in the implementation, and they would like you know uh, uh, support that project. They would never uh, criticize that project, like you know. That's how like we've uh, come up with this Entergy project, and through that, like uh, we 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 
uh, not only we have come up with proposals like you know we were also had like uh, a competitive design competition like you know when we kind of zeroed in on canals we wanted to select one particular canal to do a model project and for that we never wanted one single expert or a couple of experts coming in with the solution so we went into an, a national competition where even students can part uh, young, young professionals not just big institutions but students young professionals like uh, all of them can come up with their own ideas and through that we have come up with beautiful uh, proposals we had around 170 entries and all of them were beautiful proposals and we have a world class proposals uh, uh, we have a, we have world class proposals for, for this particular endagogy competition for this particular stretch of canal that we are finally uh, doing a, 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 a dpr now and um, it's like you know it's very little time like 20 only 20 minutes but i don't i don't i have a lot of things to say but then uh, short of time there's time constraint i would say like you know 18 years over we have done a lot of things so for instance kochi is a smart city uh, and like uh, kochi came as the fifth uh, in in the competition we came in the first fifth position it, it, it's 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 see here who did all that work before like you know uh, the new spb csml kochi smart mission limited uh, was established we did all the work and we also prepared the city development plan for the then and new arm there are so many different things that we have done all these years of time we do a lot of work uh, for the city budget we support the mayor whenever she needs like uh, uh, support in the terms of uh, research data we do that we, there is always we are always there as a support for the mayor and the council and uh, recently we started like you know getting a lot of recognition i, sh I should thank chaitan sir chaitan sir uh, through his uh, initiative like in you know, a gis certificate documentation of uh, chet and um, we have we have been presented in the world urban forum in abu dhabi in uh, february and were in everyone opened that like you know this can be a model for uh, urban uh, uh, strengthening urban local governments in south asia and uh, we've been also recognized as uh, a partner local partner of the niua and then it, it the gis report on uh, see had has really helped us to forge this association with, uh, with this prestigious national institution that's national institute of urban affairs and then and 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 up recently we also got uh, the hatco award best practice award for innovative model in urban governance hatco really consider us as an innovative model and a model that all other uh, uh, local governments in, in india can really emulate uh, uh, really take as an example uh, for so uh, uh, we worked our key strengths are like you know for instance on on demand technical support like whenever mayor council need a uh, kind of support we are the we get people we get the right people to do thing we kind of like you know forge partners a partnership with almost all the uh, uh, every institution around the world like we have you uh, inhabited now gi said now so many such institutions we mobilize a lot of resources like as i said like you know for the water metro and uh, we do uh, we kind of send across like uh, uh, the uh, ideas and aspirations of the people to the council as well as the uh, council to the people so we basically work as an outreach and and consultation wing of the municipal corporation as well to conclude this i would certainly say that like an all young professionals like you should really come uh, we have created see head you should create such such uh, 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 dynamic entities in uh, each uh, cities in, in in india you should come up with ideas to help our cities and i think we should be the the real change we should be the catalyst for change in urban india i think like i should conclude my uh, this short presentation uh, with this note thank you thank you all thank you sir thank you so much for this breathtaking presentation it was highly motivating mostly for young people and professionals like me now i would like to call up honorable mayor ma'am to share her experiences from kochi it is our honor to have someone like you from the government to explain about these wonderful innovations in kochi in your presence over to you ma'am so dr rajan has elaborated on the activities of sea head and there's nothing more to say i would uh, uh, like to say that anyway uh, for the formal formal address uh, i will i will present sea uh, uh, head before uh, our young professionals prospector chedan vaidya ji dr rajan and his team chedan sodai and uh, my dear young professionals in urban sector i like to thank the organizers of this special master class for giving us opportunity to speak 
on lessons from urban grassroots innovations in Kochi. It is also my privilege to speak on occasion on World Cities Day 2020. I am happy to know that Practical Cities is a network of young urban professionals who have initiated the online master class series to motivate the young professionals in the urban sector. In my association with civic authorities, I have felt that there is need to connect young with city problems and their solutions. I also sincerely believe that this series on Practical Cities will be also useful to municipal councillors and staff to learn from their peers in other cities. I'm very happy to, a, to be a part of this journey. As mentioned earlier by Dr. Rajan, the Center for Heritage, Environment and Development is an organization set up by Kochi Municipal Corporation in 2002. Since its inception, CHEAD has played a vital role in the development efforts of KMC. The center carries out studies, and consultations and supports KMC with policy inputs on the development of the city. CHEAD is remarkably able to support KMC to mobilize and activate technical, financial, and human resources by networking with state, national, and international actors and organizations to form alliances between the government, civic society, and the private sector that enable sustainable urban development. Such exchanges benefit and enriches both parties as they learn from each other. I'm pleased that CHEAD model is now identified as a good practice of KMC on the global and national stage. It is really an institutional innovation to strengthen urban local bodies in India. CHEAD and KMC have mainstreamed urban innovations in urban governance process in terms of promoting participation, project identification and development, operations and management of infrastructure, public-private partnership, etc., the CHEAD is also uh, responsive to emerging situation. As an example, recently they supported the KMC to develop an app which would act as an early warning system for floods, for flood-free Kochi. Yes, that app's name is like that. Many urban experts have asked me if CHEAD model can be replicated in their cities of Kerala and India. I believe this model can be replicated in other cities of the state and country. It would require institutionalism, resource mobilization, knowledge management, and outreach and communication and strategic leadership. While CHEAD has emerged as a unique and successful model, it also faces several challenges. In this context, young urban professionals can really help Kochi and other cities in analyzing its problems, help to find solutions, and also set up, set up to implement the solutions. I sincerely believe that modern technology, like information and communication technology, GIS-based mapping, artificial intelligence, etc., and social media should be utilized to improve delivery of services, augmentation of municipal resources, communication with citizens, and disaster management like flood and COVID-19. Given limited capacity of urban local bodies in India, young urban professionals should actively participate in solving urban problems and improve living conditions of city dwellers. It will also help in achieving our goals of economic development and provide jobs to the educated youths. I once again thank and appreciate Practical Cities Network to organize this special master class on World Cities Day 2020 and wish it success in its future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Like, this is very wonderful to hear it from a government official herself. And so many insights that we have to learn from and to excite from and motivate from. Thank you. I would now like to call up Professor Vaidya as a senior professional and practitioner, academician, to take this conversation ahead and moderate the question and answer session. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Chetan. And it's really an honor and a privilege. Uh, it's, thank you, Chetan, and thank you, Practical Cities, for this opportunity for coaching. It's really a privilege and honor 
to to do a question answer session with madam mayor who has been an inspiration for all of us working in kochi on different issues my first question deals with urban governance people who come from outside kerala we think the mayor and the municipal council has lot of powers and lot of money so i would like to ask madam how is urban decentralization in kerala how is it effective and on the ground it is actually a very effective policy to have a decentralized system to be implemented actually when in the earlier days when we were familiar with the centralized policy making there were lot of objection from the part of people like resistance they don't want some of the projects which they didn't expect to come and most of the projects they might uh, cause some hindrances to their day to day activities so there were so lot of uh, resistance and uh, you know so in some cases they would move to the court even to object uh, this kind of uh, project implementation so nowadays the policies uh, the government policy has changed and it has uh, 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 you know it is made decentralized like the suggestions will come from the ward sabha that, that is the grassroots level from uh, the 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 one councillor uh, for example each councillor will have a ward sabha meeting once in a month once in uh, six months so in his uh, in the initial stage itself when he get, uh, get uh, into this uh, councillorship he will uh, set up a ward sabha which is constituted by all the important institutions all the residents association all the important persons technical people everybody will be included in the ward sabha and uh, and in the ward sabha all the problems of the wards will be discussed even other problems may be discussed but uh, initially the ward problems will be discussed and then they about uh, issues in kochi everything can be discussed in the ward sabha these technical experts this um, uh, gra grassroots level people will have the solutions because they are the uh, residents of the area they know how the city has changed now and uh, and what is the what change has made this uh, problem come into existence so they will be uh, uh, you know uh, have ideas how this can be changed or how this problems can be uh, you, you know solved so decentralization and when the policy when the when their suggestions is brought to the upper levels after the ward sabha it will be brought to the committee then to the council and then for the government approval and after getting the government approval the the uh, project will be uh, you know tendered and given funds for that for for the implementation and there will be uh, minimal uh, resistance from the people because those who resist at that part will not be you know actually development lovers they will be uh, just kind of uh, political interference so that we can manage the councillor and the officials and all the other government officials they will manage the resistance and that will have a very practical solution also the problem will be solved madam in the same context i want to ask you Yes. if it was so much well decentralized in kerala mm -hmm. was forming a special purpose vehicle for implementation of smart city necessary or it should have been handed over to the municipal corporation actually speaking it is not necessary it mm -hmm. is it is as per the guidelines of the uh, smart city we have to forcibly or uh, compulsorily we have to form as and form an spv which has got so many uh, you know restrictions to to the, that uh, that is rest restrictions and uh, you know resistance from the people while implementing now also there are lot of practical problem when the spv is implementing uh, uh, projects on ground i, I can say one example when uh, this footpaths when they they have projects for developing the footpaths and when it is developed the width of the footpath is not discussed with us so when i road the roads in kochi you know it's very narrow and we we cannot have footpaths on both sides but uh, as per rules they are putting up footpaths on both sides of the road which is uh, obstructing the two way traffic so uh, this will all cause a lot of uh, you know resistance from the people and the kind of uh, smart roads they are building it is heightening the roads to 
you know very very uh, to a vast extent which have, which does which is practically not uh, uh, needed here so these kind of uh, resistance come because the spv has no uh, direct contact with the people they are a group of officials but uh, the councillors and the corporation they live with the people so uh, they have they know the need of the people they know the need of the society they will go with them so that is the difference yes my next question madam is uh, through this small presentation i call very small presentation yes you have inspired almost 3000 to 4000 young professionals I to work for our city you know i think <laughs> thank you so much ma'am but you will appreciate that how can they work with the government that is an issue you know simple thing like government regulations may not permit them to get contracts the young people they have no balance sheet how do we can encourage young professional you will not believe it in school of plain architecture in delhi 30% of my master students were from kerala they did the architects they came to delhi to do their master of planning but they are many of them are not able to come back to kerala and work they go to bangalore they will stay back in delhi so how can we encourage there are lot of even within kochi there is lot of practical knowledge initiatives of young professional how can we encourage them for work for kochi and work for kerala urban eden ji in this contest where she had come into the picture actually all these people all these young professionals get a chance as uh, you know short term and long term interns through see head they mm -hmm. implement they assist us they help in help us in many ways to implement projects as well as uh, to get new ideas to get newer innovative kind of ideas uh, which is only with the young professionals they have a lot of new new ideas they know technology they know uh, you know new solutions which are actually uh, the need of the day so so they they come into picture through see head we have that uh, uh, blessing of having a society like see head so that is how we implement in kochi but i am not very sure what is the case with the other corporations how they have the uh, how they have the limitation in making them enter into the picture Uh, uh, my next question is to Dr. Rajan. I think we'll ask him one question. Dr. Rajan, my, I have a question. You said you communicate with different organizations, different institutes, urban designers, architects, and planners, and you provide a platform. How do you do, the, and also the citizens? How do you do this communication? It's a very complex balancing act. How do you do that? Particularly in a situation where may not continue, the mayor and the council may not continue for more than five years. so it's a it's a, it's a one dilemma i always have so can you explain how do you manage communication with the citizens with the councillor and with the professionals <laughs> sir it's, it's very difficult to answer this question very tricky question i don't know how to answer this <laughs> but i i i believe that like we have been always getting the blessings i mean we are fortunate to have a, a, a supporting mayors from the the fresh mayor dinesh mani to the mm -hmm. present mayors uh, uh, our present mayors uh, swamini jain they really love us they really <laughs> adopt us and uh, they give us all the freedom so mm -hmm. like even when we go out of way and speak mayor never uh, scolds us say you mm -hmm. said the right thing so that kind of encouragement is there support is there and uh, and and this new institution is always looked uh, positively by people and when we when we make positive changes within a system which is uh, not very vibrant and uh, the, the that system creates a system which is, even if it is very small a vibrant system uh, everyone uh, 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 takes it positively like and, and a reception for that uh, vibrancy so i think that helps us uh, to really communicate with uh, everyone and then like you know we communicate new ideas like you know we kind of chetan sir comes to us and he tells us something some good practice we travel around with the mayors and we get to see so many things we come back and we we the communicate through the media media really supports us so we communicate and uh, uh, through all these uh, platform you now with social media uh, with with uh, all these like uh, uh, friends of see head and uh, when we learn from uh, our experience from the people who have uh, uh, kind of practiced it we, where we have seen it 
and uh, we kind of communicate and when we kind of when we go to for instance when we go uh, to singapore and we learn about new water like you know, recycled water they use it as for drinking we come and uh, uh, communicate talk to our counselors because we get a lot of chance to communicate with counselors in mayor's office like you know, we are always part of mayor's communication so like uh, and and that's how we we basically kind of get to uh, talk to people i don't know whether i'm really convincing enough but this is the answer i have sir no no, no this is energy <laughs> is a, is a very uh, very good management guru i would say <laughs> <laughs> thank you <ma> yeah <laughs> <laughs> not only we are blessed with a society actually the person who is handling it uh, should have a very positive attitude so that is how the, the combination of his team also not only dr raj and his uh, secretary we miss simi and uh, all the other staff he has got a very limited staff but all of them are a good very good combination and the positive attitude they have towards this kind of uh, projects that makes it uh, you know uh, very successful in yeah. whatever they enter into uh, thank you ma'am yeah, thank, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. thank right. you ma'am i'll just say sir one thing like yeah, you please, know uh, if more than we remaining positive mayors uh, <laughs> the mayors positiveness is more important than correct <laughs> yeah, yeah. so one more question what has kept you motivated for 18 long years i wonder how did you survive <laughs> <laughs> this is why uh, it's good for the young people also you know they the habit of young people is to join and join jump to another job jump to another job they don't want to stick around uh, it of course the, it could be money but what is that which kept you going uh, in uh, chd for 18 yeah. long years sir i i said first of all opportunity first of all i would say it's the love for kochi when i came in in kochi i when i reached kochi i started loving i fell in love with the city mm. and uh, then when i got an opportunity to work with the city and i uh, kind of like and then started uh, seeing some changes like uh, for instance like you know the first uh, vision document like uh, when we had the first vision document when all the people came and uh, uh, they said like you know if, you, if there is political will uh, and uh, if the, uh, and there will be political will only when the a political leadership understands things very well they see in a holistic perspective in a world uh, a scenario when in before them they would try to do that uh, for instance i'll tell you like you know when i uh, I, i i one of our favorite mayors is like uh, tony chamani mm-hmm. when i went uh, uh, kind of uh, just see assume the office and uh, i went and told him like sir a lot of uh, uh, banners and posters are all around its visual pollution is it a visual pollution but what can we do because it's all political leaders that put this posters all around what can we do then i had this chance to travel around with him to uh, uh, geneva the first travel abroad and uh, the moment we landed in geneva he was looking all around and he was just looking all around and then after one hour he said doctor he called me doctor doctor no posters no banners all around and city is so beautiful because of all these things i said yes sir like you know that is what i mean this is how like you know, we should make the city he came back and then like you know he went then it was like uh, poster removal every day and, and i think like uh, at kind of when, I, when you see this kind of changes happening like you know you wanted to be with it like you know you wanted to be with that change like you know and you got to kind of dedicate your life see i i never wanted to sit in an office and wanted to be a manager or a clerk or a superintendent but i wanted to uh, kind of work for a cause and for my cause become kochi and like you know making kochi a sustainable and livable city so i travel with all these mayors and i contributed like you know i have a wonderful team always a loving mayors so it's my 18 years mayors made my 18 years i would say like uh, comfortable otherwise i wouldn't have been staying away so it's it's my my uh, 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 kind of uh, determination to see a uh, 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 kochi elevable city a real uh, a good city with good quality air water uh, food air everything like you know so i wanted to be a catalyst like you know, working with mayors and councillors to change the destiny of this city and making it a world class city thank you so much thanks. i think you work thanks. with thanks. passion i think that madam has right <laughs> Um, madam i have a last question for you before yes. i ask the last question to uh, dr rajan yes uh, how, how what is your message for young urban professionals you have heard 
the whole yes. story. And there are people who want to work, but when they start to want to work with this, they get into problems and they leave either the sector. So what is your message for the young urban professionals uh, and youth in general to, to, to continue to work with urban issues and solutions? Actually, I had prepared another answer for this, but since Dr. Rajan has said something, I think that they should make Dr. Rajan their role model for, for, <laughs> for developing a positive attitude and, uh, you know, keeping on, keeping on uh, with his uh, commitment and sincerity through all through the 18 years. He has not run away from this. Most of the people who come to the corporation, they will get fed up with the kind of politics and the uh, other other uh, kind of, uh, you know, what I cannot uh, say openly. Those, those, those uh, unfair activities or whatever it is, they will be fed up with that kind of a situation. But uh, uh, people who has real commitment and sincerity and uh, love for Kuchi, they should uh, keep on working. They should uh, be has has to develop a spirit for uh, you know uh, for uh, their profession. They they should be more uh, uh, professional and they should keep on with their work. Even though there are there may be lot of things which will discourage you in in between. Oh, that is all a part of whenever we get uh, human, it is a kind of human nature, like uh, when we get some discouragement, uh, discouraging situation, we'll get to that kind of situation, we'll try to uh, leave it and run away from that situation. But uh, that is not how they should uh, be. The young professionals, they should carry out, they should have to, they, they should have a, they would have a role, uh, you know, goal in their life. Till they reach the goal, there may be discouragements, but uh, they should persist and uh, pursue their uh, uh, to their cause, what is their uh, goal, and they should try to reach their goal with all positive and uh, sincere efforts. That is my message for the young planners. And uh, I'm yeah. sure that uh, they, they will do that because these days, we, the children, uh, they have a very good attitude. They have a lot of uh, ideas which are uh, really fascinating. When we conduct a lot of competitions, we see young professionals coming in with uh, uh, new, new ideas, which has not, uh, you know, uh, which has not sparkled in the master brains of our uh, seniors. So uh, they, the, those kind of uh, innovative ideas should be uh, the, the destiny of tomorrow. So I wish all our young professionals to be there uh, throughout without, uh, you, you know, failing. When, when they uh, see some kind of discouragement in their life, they should uh, persist and pursue. That is With your permission, I want to ask last question to Dr. Rajan, madam. <laughs> yes, sure. Last, last question to Dr. Yes. Rajan. Dr. Rajan, young people want to be involved with cities. They have ideas to give solutions. Some of them are talking of startups. Some are looking for mentors. What is your practical message to this young professional, urban professionals? Madam, uh, Madam has given the, the background for this, but how, how do you think we can take it forward? Dr. Uh, sir, like, you know, in every city, there are takers. Like, uh, uh, I've seen the way our uh, mayor, Mayor Samani Jain treats young professionals who uh, uh, come to municipal corporation with ideas. She yeah. always, like, you know, sends them to us. And uh, there are a lot of n number of ways. For instance, like uh, this uh, National Highway Beautification Project I was talking about, like uh, uh, the municipal corporation formed a society with the uh, support of the stakeholders. The stakeholders invested almost three crore rupees and that became an entity, an urban entity, where a uh, lot of young professionals worked. So like when we had the bill, I mean, we had the bill, you can join and form a collective, an urban, a, 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 for instance, we have an institution called Kochi Collective. You can form collective now, like we can, uh, the city can extend support, like through CSR fund, like, you know, we can get a working fund for you. Uh, the thing is that, like, you come up with ideas, uh, you come up with, like, you know, practical solutions. The cities and citizens will really support you. Never uh, 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 kind of shy away from like uh, taking such big challenges. If you want to invest your future in cities, 
there is always a space if you have the will and there is always indian cities are not like uh, the earlier cities now like you know we can generate funds like you know, for instance our park subhash park as i said we we kind of generate uh, we don't use uh, fund from the public uh, exchequer we kind of generate fund from uh, private stakeholders corporates to run that so if you come up with a beautiful idea tomorrow our mayor can help you to form a, a small ecosystem where you get funding support but you should really come up with ideas that would support the city in in, in return so like if you have ideas we have uh, uh, the support system to accommodate you and that's what our mayor said yes sir thank you so much both madam mayor and dr rajan you know it's so interesting that i want to keep talking to you for one more, another one <laughs> <laughs> but but you know there are difficulties we can but we will i think we should have a separate program specifically what can be done which yes. later on we can do that it is not in hurry uh the uh, uh, without wanting to close it i need to quest- close this question answer question madam you yes. have really inspired a large number of young professionals and showed them a way i hope we will find pra- practical solutions uh, yes. both in kochi and other cities of country thank you so much for this participation now yes ma'am you want to say something yeah no i i too thank you very much uh, for your initiative and your uh, uh, support and uh, Uh, all that you have done for uh, see had to come up they have received a lot of uh, encouragement uh, these days actually after the 18 years of uh, uh, their their constant efforts now is the recognition uh, coming on to them only because of your encouragement and support so thanks a lot for uh, you know at least in this late hour uh, for the, for all the awards they are uh, they have received now and uh, if my my uh, term is also going to end but uh, i hope and i uh, i request you to continue your support for seahead and uh, let this be a model to the world actually that sure. is how we got an opportunity in wuf and uh, uh, let it be a model everywhere So sure, thank you very much for continue all. with gz and us yes. and all the and uh, all success to our young planners too thank you thank you madam now we'll hand over to chetan who is representing practical cities for the formal vote of thanks yes first of all thank you chetan sir for bringing this all together and actually making this happen for practical cities as well as for the city of kochi and uh, thank you mayor ma'am rajan sir and also professor vaidya for giving us this detailed and practical insight into this wonderful innovations of kochi i'm sure this surely has motivated all the young professionals who have joined us today to take this forward to our own cities and make them more livable and sustainable also thanks to all our viewers for joining us today evening to know more about the initiative follow us on twitter linkedin facebook instagram and youtube thank you very much stay healthy stay happy thank you everyone